A female smoker in her 50s has a PHS x-ray after presenting with a cough. Is there a significant abnormality? Let's go through the case. Here we have a chest x-ray without an obvious clear abnormality. There's no lesion behind the heart. The hilar regions look okay with normal branching tapering vessels. The azagous contour is normal and the AP window is maintained. However, let's have a look at the lung apices. Firstly, we can see there is no pneumothorax and there is no opacity at the extreme apices to make you think about a Pankos tumour. Now, the apices can be difficult with so many overlying bones. On the right, here we have the first rib, the second rib, and here is the clavicle. If you look at the region of the mid clavicle, you can see there's a region of density projected over this. This is asymmetric and you can't see this on the other side. If we invert the film, it makes things a bit clearer. But what could this represent? This could be a sclerotic bone lesion, but given the patient is a smoker, we need to think about a solitary lung nodule, with the most worrying diagnosis a primary lung cancer. A single metastasis and other benign causes make up the differential, such as a hamartoma, rheumatoid nodule, granuloma, and AVM. A CT scan confirms a right upper lobe subpleural lung nodule measuring 2.5 cm with background emphysema. PET CT shows the nodule is avid and there are no nodes or metastases. The nodule was resected with curative intent, confirming a lung adenocarcinoma. By picking up the lung nodule, the radiologist helped get the patient the surgery they needed before the cancer spread any further. The lesson here is to remember to look through the bones, as doing so could save your patient's life.